Okay, so I just made this quick tutorial to um, show some of the settings I used for a recent Milky Way photo. Basically, I, uh, it was a family trip to Tasmania from Thailand. Tasmania is a pretty good place to see the Milky Way. But uh, basically, with my 23mm Fuji lens, I was using f1.4 and uh, focus to infinity but then um, once you actually point it at the stars you just back off your infinity a little bit to make sure that you are getting pinpoint um, stars stupidly i didn't take my tripod with me but i ended up using a um, painter's ladder which was okay but you do realize why tripods have three legs and not four because it's not the most stable environment i took 12 exposures with the, the idea of stitching them together. One reason is basically because 23 millimeters is uh, not quite wide enough to capture the whole Milky Way. So once I took the, the photographs, uh, loaded them into Hugen or Huggen um, just to stitch them together. Um, I have done a, another tutorial on using Hugen, so um, I'll leave that in the notes if anyone wants more details. There's a lot of different settings that you can use, different projections. Just to give you a rough idea here, this is this is what I did. And uh, just adjusting the crop there a little, but it actually turned out quite well just using the automatic settings uh, there in Hugen. And they're just outputting. Um, I always like to output the um, individual images as well, which is one of those little selections there, but you can see that if you want to have a look more in depth at my other Hugen tutorial. And there it's just stitching all the files together. I've sped it up a little bit for the video here just to, because you'll get bored at how long the computer actually sometimes takes to put these together. And then finally, once it's all together, just opening the resulting image, which is it's pretty big. In, uh, in GIMP. Um, I think it turned out something like 120 megapixel or, or thereabouts. Pretty much the only adjustments here is just adjusting the white balance which just changes the levels. Obviously there's a lot more that you, you can do. I just cropped the top out because in that particular projection it distorted the, the very top of the image there. And um, yeah, it didn't turn out too bad. But as I said, Tasmania has very clear skies. It's not easy to do this everywhere. The other advantage in stitching so many images together, of course, is you don't get much noise. I was only using ISO 800, but as you can see, it's a pretty clean resulting image. Yeah, there you go. Something you can do next time you visit an area with not much light pollution and um, Luckily when the moon is not around to blow out the image either.